Despite facing extreme adversity, Haitians have continued to work to build a better future for their country. So how can everyone play a part in Haiti's transformation? Welcome to Common Good. I'm Luria Freeman. Today, we're talking about Pockets of Hope, a campaign created by W.K. Kellogg Foundation and partners that's shining a light on the remarkable progress of Haitian-led and Haitian-inspired organizations as they turn philanthropic support into systemic change. To tell this story, we'll hear from Haitian-American actress and humanitarian Garcelle Beauvais, former Prime Minister of Haiti and President of the Foundation for Knowledge and Liberty in Port-au-Prince, Michelle Pierre-Louis, and the President and CEO of the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, Lejeune Montgomery Tabron. While we had made many grants in Haiti prior to 2011, after the earthquake, we felt it even more important to focus on Haiti and name it one of our priority places, which means that we would establish local presence and commit ourselves to working in that area for at least a generation. My connection to Haiti is really my birthright. I was born in St. Mark, and I have an affinity for my people and my country. Our people aspire to a better life. They are confronted with extreme difficulties today, but they chose to organize, to fight to be free, to make a living, to send their kids to school, and at the same time, keep an incredible sense of humor. Contrary to some media portrayals, Haiti has a rich history of contributing to global struggles for equity, human rights, and freedom. As the first Black Republic proclaimed in the Imperial Constitution of 1805 that all Haitians were Black, regardless of the color of their skin. That's why we say that Haiti is the first country in the world to affirm that Black lives matter. Haiti's struggle against oppression and colonization served as an inspiration for oppressed communities around the world. Pockets of Hope is about allowing the world to see our Haitian leaders, to see those people who have been continuing this journey and striving every day to create the systems and structures so that they can thrive. It's long-term investment and proximity management strategies. And that's what WK Kellogg Foundation is about. It's not somebody coming in and giving a handout and being the hero. It's about making the Haitians their own hero by having us participate in our well-being. We know how to improve our own lives, and I love that they're putting it in our hands. Success stories stemming from work supported by the W.K. Kellogg Foundation showcase the transformative power found in grassroots initiatives. Haiti has the land mass and the agricultural capacity to grow its own food. The local smallholder farmers that activated during the pandemic to make sure that families and children were fed. It gives us, you know, momentum to do more, to go forward. And it's these stories that exemplify how small-scale efforts, fueled by the passion and determination of local communities, can lead to remarkable transformations. Philanthropy and strategic investments in Haiti can help drive lasting change in areas such as education, healthcare, infrastructure, and economic development. Collaborative partnerships between international organizations and local leaders can amplify the voices and efforts of communities in Haiti. The most fundamental strategy that philanthropists should think about, and that is how do you invest in the people and help the people help themselves? We know that the increased investment in these great pockets of hope will lead to systemic change in Haiti for all of its children and families. By combining the resources and networks of international organizations with the knowledge and expertise of local leaders, these partnerships can create a powerful platform for change. I'm trying not to get emotional. I had the opportunity to come to the United States and I don't take that lightly. And I think part of my drive in everything that I do is because I recognize the opportunity that I was given. The diaspora's role is pivotal in Haiti's growth, with the Haitian American community's contributions being a driving force in the country's ongoing transformation. I think it's important to not forget where I'm from, not forget my people. Philanthropy has the capacity of being much more agile, value and result oriented. By actively participating in advocacy, diplomacy and partnerships, the Haitian American community can amplify the nation's voice 
showcase its rich culture, and attract attention to critical issues. The Kellogg Foundation will be investing $30 million over the next three years towards this effort and encouraging like-minded philanthropists to raise another $60 million so that we could invest very quickly $90 million to all of this great work that definitely has momentum and a pathway forward. Our See Good, Do Good challenge this week is to invest your time and resources in solidarity with local Haitian communities and organizations, shaping a new future. Learn more at HaitiPocketsOfHope.com. That's it for today. I'd like to thank the W.K. Kellogg Foundation for presenting this episode. Thanks so much for watching Common Good.